Monday, March 30th. Um, so today, boys and girls, we are going to be getting ourselves set up for this new unit that we're launching, um, reading in the content area. So we're going to be all through this unit reading a lot of articles, looking at artifacts and pictures and other historical documents um, related to the Westward expansion. So today is going to be all about getting you set up to do that work and doing some reading on a topic of your choice in this um, area, Westward Expansion. So um, here on the screen, you're going to see this assignment. So here is Reading Workshop, Monday, March 30th, and this is what we'll be doing. So we're going to be gathering sources and generating some subtopics and then deciding what group you want to work in to do some more research. Um, so the video that you're going to watch is the one that I'm making right now. Um, but once you do that, you are going to go to the classwork and click on the Westward Expansion topic. And within there uh, are some materials posted for the categories that are below. Um, these are the ones that I did for my class, but your teacher might have chosen some slightly different ones. But they're all going to be set up kind of the same way. Um, there are lots of resources posted within each of these categories. And you're going to choose one of the categories and browse the materials. Okay, so let me show you how that's going to work. Um, you are going to go to the stream here, um, and let's go to classwork. And here are all the topics right here. And right here, you're going to see Westward Expansion. That is where all of those materials are located. So over here is this first category. This is about cowboys, outlaws, and lawmen. And so all of the resources here, all these documents are related to cowboys, outlaws, and lawmen. Okay, if I scroll down a little bit further, here is another um, category here. This is Gold Rush's Boomtowns. I'm going to just click into one so you can see. Boomtowns and the Lives of Miners. When I labeled that PS, um, that is a primary source document. It means something that's actually from that time period. Um, See, and a lot of these will be labeled primary sources. If you click into them, you'll see that as well. Um, still not interested in these yet? Don't worry, we have more categories that you can take a look at. Uh, if you keep scrolling, here's uh, African American experiences. So it wasn't just white settlers going out west, it wasn't just white cowboys. There's a lot of different types of people there, including African Americans. So there's a lot of resources that we've collected here about their experiences in the American West. So if you're interested in that, you might want to look through these ones to sort of look through this um, and see if you are interested in reading about that. Um, over here, if you are interested in Lewis and Clark and their expedition, um, I know the last two Fridays of social studies have been focused on Lewis and Clark um, and their um, exploration. So in here, is all about the core discovery, including the Native American uh, Sacagawea. She was the one who kind of guided them along this um, trail of discovery. So there's lots of um, articles and other things to look at for that one. Okay, there's also in here that I've also included um, pioneers and homesteaders experiences, including some of these articles that I know you guys are familiar with, A Day on the Trail, um, and uh, that's one thing that you might be interested in. Um, and then over here, Native American experiences. Okay, so once you kind of settle in on a category that you're kind of interested in, you're going to choose an article to read for today. Okay, um, so for me, in this Westward expansion, um, Native American experience, I chose an article that I read to you guys this morning called Forest Removal, right? So once you go in there, um, you are going to, just like you did today, you're going to be reading the article, right? And uh, as you read, you're coming up with the main ideas um, for that and some key details, just like I did this morning, okay? Once you've done that, you are going to be using those main ideas to uh, do a little bit of an exit ticket for this assignment, okay? So watch me as I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's go back to the assignment. Click back in classwork. Here I am in reading workshop. Over here. Reading workshop. 
here's the assignment. Nope, that's social studies. We're working in reading workshop. Reading workshop. Okay. So here we are in reading workshop, and you'll see here there's a Google form that you're going to be filling out. All right. So clicking on the Google form takes a minute to load. All right. You're going to fill out your email address, of course. Once you've done that, you're going to move on to this first section. What is the category and the article that you chose? So for me, I chose the Native American Experience um, category and the article that I chose was called Forced Removal. That's the one I read. Now, the first question asked me, what is the main idea and a subtopic that you want to research further? So this is what I'm looking for you to do. Um, I want you to go to the article that you read and look at one of these main ideas. So for example, this one um, was one of the main ideas that I had for forced removal, this article, the Cherokees were pushed out. So what I'm gonna do with that is type in my answer here. So, um, and here I have the, um, an example here. This is what I'm gonna type. It says, one main idea I had was that Cherokees were pushed out of the southeastern United States, U.S., right? A subtopic I would like to research further is the Indian Removal Act, right? I took that right from here. I thought about this is the main idea I had, and I thought, like, hmm, what is an area that I would like to know more about? What could be, like, a subtopic that I want to do some more research about? Um, and so definitely I was very interested in that Indian Removal Act of 1830. And I said, why? I said, a subtopic I would like to research further is the Indian Removal Act because I would like to know how it was legal to push people off land that they had been living on. I also want to know why this law was passed, even though the Native Americans would be forced to live in a desert. So I'm giving the main idea. I'm giving um, a subtopic, right? from that main idea, it's kind of making me think, oh, I want to think about this other smaller part of the main idea. And then from there, I'm giving the reasons why I want to research more about that particular area. And I'm going to do that not just for this first one, but for the second one and the third one. So I'm going to choose three main ideas that I'm going to do this work with on here. When I'm done with that, I am going to go on to this last question. It says, we will be making clubs based on your response to this question. What area of the westward expansion are you most interested in learning, reading, and writing more about? Check only three. All right. So for definitely me, I'm going to click on the Native American experience. That's definitely an area I'm interested in. But then I'm going to look through here, and here's a little bar. You can scroll down and see the other ones. These are all the other kind of uh, areas that we have um, articles collected for that um, I'm also going to click some of these other ones so I can maybe think about um, maybe this one. I may be interested in the African-American experience. I'll click that one too. I'm like, what's another area? Maybe this one, Mexico, Texas, and the American Mexican-American War. I might be interested in that. Oh, you know what? Cowboys, Outlaws, and Lawmen. That is an area I'm definitely interested in. So I click three of them. Okay, you don't have to click three. If you are really just interested in two, click two, but at least do two so that we know when you go to submit this form here, we know what um, clubs we could group you into. Okay, so like we have a club that already has a bunch of kids in it, um, maybe you'll get your second choice. Okay, so that's what you need to do for this as an exit ticket. Okay, but very importantly, going back to the work you are going to search through these different uh, topics that we have and look for an article that you're going to read because you have to come up um, with uh, jot it, your main ideas, your key details. And then once you've done that, you can use that information to fill in the Google form um, with those main ideas and the subtopics that you want to research further. That's the key. We really are interested in learning um, what you learned from this article, what are some areas that you want to dig deeper in and research. Um, and then of course you want to um, click on um, the areas of the Westward Expansion that are most interesting for you in that Google form. 
All right, if you have any questions and you're not clear, definitely send an email to your teacher. Bye.